I'm Chris and this is my 69 through 72 Chevelle door mirror video now we're gonna talk about some different things what to look for what I found out this video started off as being it was gonna be a simple video I ended up making a mistake we'll talk about it in the video and then I started researching these for a little while let me tell you all I learned about them and what I know about them. if you're trying to run something like this watch this video I'm gonna tell you what to watch out for on these and then we're gonna make some other ones work now all my life I was brainwashed to think that these were like inferior garbage don't run those so I never saved any of these I don't even know where I got this from I think I got it from a 69 all right so first of all um, these are listed as 68 through 72 but 68s had round ones so this is a 69 through 72. Now this one's off of a 72 Monte Carlo. It only had one driver one with the remote. As far as I know, these are Monte Carlo mirrors. Okay, so this part, if you're interested in running these bullet sport style, uh, don't skip ahead. Just watch this little segment about them. Okay, so let's talk about these uh, bullet style, sport style. Now these are not from a Chevelle. We'll get into that. But if you look these up, they're very expensive. As far as I know, they only had one on the driver's side door. You're trying to get some of these on your car uh, and you want both of them. This came off of a 79 Firebird. This is where it kind of gets weird because whenever you set these down next to each other, the driver one is actually different from the passenger one. These are actually from the same car. See the gold? As I started looking at these sport mirrors, I realized that the driver one is taller and it also has a different angle. Because these just kind of sat there, you can't adjust these. So all I'm trying to say is that my 80 El Camino I had had these on it. This this is from the 80 El Camino. And this is from, these two are from a 79. And you see what I found out that the 80 El Camino and the 79 Trans Am are the same. But the driver one's different. I mean, I've looked on eBay and I've seen these listed as Chevelle mirrors. Uh, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna put them on the car. And we're actually gonna modify these to work on a Chevelle. But the problem is that when you're looking at these in the pictures, uh, you gotta be careful because this one would mount right here. You would have to, you know, you would have to figure out where to mount it like this. The Chevelle one's mounted right here. And if you look in the book, you will clearly see that that part is different than mounts. See how the angle would be more flat? So just letting you know to be careful when you're looking at these because they'll be listed like 70 through 81 sport mirrors. But if you look in the book, you will actually see them ground different. Okay, so I have a bunch of extra ones over here. So we're going to try to see if we can cut this one to where it can fit the Chevelle like a real sport mirror. Because if you look in here, they have screws that could come off. Maybe you could look in to see if they actually make just this part that would change the stance on it where you could put these on a Chevelle. So maybe these are, the mirrors are all the same. Okay, since this one's screwed up, we're gonna use this one as our test subject. What we're doing is we're gonna see if we can, we can cut that different to where we could use it on our car if we had to. Now these aren't necessarily cheap either, but if they came on, this came off of 80 O Camino, 79 Firebird, you probably find these in a junkyard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grind it off camera, but the idea would be is not to scratch this line and just near, you know, put some marks on here to kind of give you an idea of what you're going for. So you don't do the opposite. That's all I'm using right there. So you see the original angle and then we cut it off. Okay, so this is the ADO Camino 79 Firebird. Originally, if you wanted to use it, you would have to mount it here because of the angle. So we're taking another ADO Camino 79 Firebird, ground that angle. Perfect. Okay, so that works. Okay, I mean, you still got the hole right there that goes on the bracket, but you kind of ground your bracket thing away. So you would have to probably fab some kind of bracket. So um, that may not work for everybody, but I'm actually impressed. I really didn't think that would that would work because mount them down there. I mean, you really wouldn't notice that, but that's that looks real legit. I'm, I actually kind of want to put these on my car now, to be honest with you. So just letting you know to be very careful when you're seeing these on eBay that they're not trying to sell you some later model ones and they're selling you the actual ones that go right here. Okay, so do that at your own risk because you're going to have to make a bracket. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make these two for my car in case I ever want to run a sport mirror. But these are real expensive if you try to buy them. I know that this one is probably over $100 for the driver's side. 
and the Chevelle guy was telling me that you can get the passenger side, but I don't see it in OPGI, so I don't know. Cut that at your own risk and just be aware you will have to modify the bracket, but that looks pretty cool. You really can't tell the difference from that once it's on there from a real sport mirror. Okay, so we haven't cleaned it up or nothing. Let's just take one last look before we put the mirrors I'm gonna use on the car. And just remember these came off of an ADO Camino, a 79 Firebird, that aero cars, if you can't afford the real ones. Yeah, it makes it smaller, but yeah, you could, you could use that. Okay, so these are the mirrors I decided to run on my car. I've actually never ran mirrors on Chevelles. I always would take them off and just run them without anything. Even that ADO Camino that I had, I did the same thing. That's how come I have those. But I put this on my car the other day and I actually really liked the way it looked. So I went ahead and bought these two. They are $198 for both of them. So let's just go over a quick installation. They're real easy to put on. But now is the point and the reason that I made this video so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. So the mistake that I made was I thought that these cars, all the mirrors fit in the same place. Put that mirror on there yesterday, I realized that these holes are not for the regular mirror. So you see what happened. I've done the bodywork on the doors already. I thought that these were all universal or all the same and they're not. I did pull this door off of a 72. So just letting you know, if you're gonna be doing your mirrors, you need to freaking check that out before you freaking paint your car, assuming that it's just gonna accept the factory mirror. So let's check this out. So new mirror, new parts are always beautiful and fancy. So it's not the end of the world. We would just have to drill some new holes in between those and the gasket will cover the old holes. But we still have the other side to look at. It's the same situation, but it had a remote mirror in it. Now, before you mount your mirror on the passenger side, you need to freaking have your driver's seat in there and make damn sure that you can see the angle in that mirror. I've seen people that added mirrors to the right side and you can't get a good angle on it. It just always looks weird. So remember that. Okay, so I don't have any seats in the car, so we're not officially installing it. We're just gonna use it on one of these holes. Just give you an idea how this is put on. It's very simple. So you get your bracket, the hole with the screw goes towards the back of the car. Okay, the factory used these 516's head. They do use two screws. I'm just putting one in. Just like that. Okay, so that's super simple to install them. Okay, so the next situation is this driver door had a remote thing. Let's see if it covers it up. Okay, so it sure does. Cause you get what you get what happened and i started looking at my mirrors and i'm like oh my god i just completely didn't even think about that I've done the body work on the car and uh thought i was going to be in trouble okay so the mirrors are pretty easy to get on it's just Remember to check your doors out before you do your paint and body work so you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, the more I look at it, I do kind of want to put these on there. But I'm going to go ahead and run those for a couple of years at least. So there's a little more to door mirrors than you might think. Just be careful when you're looking on eBay for some of these. Well, anyway, I mean, they don't look too bad on there. Well, that's it for the video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.